Okay guys, welcome back. I wanted to make a little video on a problem with cultivation. I uh, went out today on my 10 day old corn. It's uh, anywhere between 2 to 3 inches tall and I wanted to do the first pass with the Danish tine here. Of course I had my shields down. But here's the problem. Uh, I push up ridges and those ridges were not wanting to flow to, through the cultivator. Uh, combined with that, there's a whole bunch of soybean residue out there. And so the soil is soft and fluffy like powder. And it didn't want to flow through the cultivator. So I had to come back to the shop here. Now what's happening is that leading shank there right next to the road, dirt balls up there, residue balls up there, then it stops the rolling shield from rolling and then it basically bulldozes out the room so i came back to the shop i'm going to address that uh, you can see that oil residue on the shank so i came back to the shop uh, and i polished the shop with the cutting disc on the angle grinder and i oiled it and oiled the uh, foot, polished them off real good. So the cultivator had set outside all winter and it had a film of rust on it. And that film of rust was catching residue and then residue catches soil and then pretty soon you have a bridge and the rolling shield stops turning. So you remember grandpa, uh, he liked to paint his plow with oil. Well, the reality of the situation is, is your soil engagement tools, especially your ones that have to flow soil, your field cultivator and your inner row cultivator, uh, you need to keep them clean and not let them get rusty. Ideally, you'd keep them inside the barn. Uh, we were doing the barn renovation this winter, and so we didn't have time to keep it, or we didn't have a place to keep it in the barn. We were shuffling stuff around. Well, part of the new addition, it'll allow me to keep my cultivators and my plows in the barn. Uh, that was one of the ideas, but how I address this today, and I've had to do this in the past, and so I, I'm aware of this problem. Uh, those of you who have morning glory problems, morning glory is notoriously bad about catching on those shanks if you let it get up to the vine and out stage. But anyway, the shanks right here that run against the row, we polished them up and we oiled them. And the next rank back, uh, I did not polish the feet, but I polished the shank. And so when those shanks flow residue, uh, you're able to cultivate when the corn is very, very small. Uh, it's still dry here. There's a chance of rain tonight, but it's small. Uh, I decided to stop cultivating today and go back to making alfalfa and, and tilling more ground. I will probably, if the rain misses us tonight, I will go back out tomorrow morning, first thing when it's nice and cool. I am cultivating with the open station tractor, uh, so it's kind of nice to cultivate uh, first thing in the morning when the dew comes off. I like to cultivate from then to noon on this uh, first pass, because obviously you're pinning it along, moving along real slow. Anyway, thanks guys. Yeah.